Hey guys, this is David with A Tech for Android. Um, this app right here we're going to be discussing is called AC Display. Um, basically, it's still a very popular Android application that a lot of people still use. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. So in able to find this application, go into the Google Play Store and type in AC Display. Um, I'm gonna go ahead also and leave a link in the bottom of the description box so you guys can find it a little easier. Um, One million people actually have downloaded this application and still technically use. Um, it's ratings 4.1 and there are a lot of things you can do with this application. Um, it is similar to the Samsung Galaxy phones and the LG G5 displays or tells your time and what kind of notifications that you are receiving. So as soon as you download this application, just go ahead and open it right back up. It's going to take you directly into um, this section right here of the application, which you want to go ahead and do this. Go ahead and turn it on on the top right corner um, where the little uh, triangle yellow uh, symbol is at. It's going to ask for require permissions. You want to go ahead and access the device administration so you can go ahead and activate the application and then go ahead and click on notifications as well. And right when you get into this section, you want to go ahead and just uh, check on where it says AC display and just hit OK. Also, you're going to see um, an application called Heads Up. It was actually on the screen here. Um, it's going to be built in with the app, but you have to download it separately. I uh, will also get into that here shortly. So as soon as you open up the application, you go ahead and you uh, check your permissions and grant them. Go ahead and hit the back button to take you back into AC Display. And you want to go ahead and turn on the enabler which is on the right side right here go ahead and click that on and um, after that there will be three dots on the right side you want to go ahead and click on that and go right into settings as soon as you get right into settings you're gonna have options here lock screens notification apps interface and more um, you want to go ahead and check on the lock screen you also want to go ahead and enable that as well right here so go ahead and turn that on um, usage stats um, if this does happen to you guys it's because you're having another application that's overlapping your current application that you're trying to activate um, like I am right now so I'm gonna go ahead and go where it says AC display and I'm going to grant it permission and access go ahead and hit the back button again one more time and then I'm gonna go ahead and where it says off right here I'm going to check it on now on here under settings it says lock delay you're gonna go ahead and just hit no delay if you want it to be locked automatically but if you want it locked for a period of 5 15 or 30 seconds you have that option so I'm gonna go ahead and check no delay <clears throat> excuse me it's also gonna ask you to disable during inactive period basically what this means is if your device has not been touched or use in any kind of way shape and form in, um, in a matter of time the AC display is going to deactivate until you repower your device or you wake your device so that's also going to help with battery so it's entirely up to you whether or not if you want to go ahead and enable this feature um, I usually go ahead and turn it on to save battery it says also enable when no notifications lock screen is enabled regardless of whether there are notifications or not so again that's another option if you choose to keep it on or keep it off um, go ahead and go back at a lock screen with the arrow or your home keys doesn't matter once you get out of lock screen go straight into your notifications now right here it's gonna be checked on already where it says wake up on notification you also have another feature where it says quick glance wake up with a notification opened so again if you want to go ahead and check that you can minimum priority so you can have the options to select what kind of priority you would want 
the device to activate using AC display. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on minimum priority. And these are your choices, non-important, important, critical and urgent, missed calls, directions, emergency alerts, or important under communications, important mail, and so on. So just go ahead and uh, select what's right for you. And maximum priority, basically the same thing as minimum priority. It gives you a list of uh, actions you wanna take place when you're receiving notifications um, using AC display. So once you make your selections, go ahead and select that. Um, go ahead and get out of notifications since you've got that ready to go. On interface, you wanna click that. You can actually add widgets to AC display. So if you click on widgets and you click, I'm sorry, when you uh, select on widgets and you enable it on, you go on the bottom right where the plus sign is at, and then you get to select what widgets you would like to have on while using AC display. Now, after you make your selection, you can keep it on or off. It's entirely up to you. I prefer not to have it because if I want to have that display where it shows me my time, my notifications, things like that, I really wouldn't want a widget getting in the way of that. So that's why I prefer to keep it off. So you go back out of your widgets and your interface and whatnot. You want to go into apps. Now, I haven't really messed around with this part of AC display and I couldn't really tell you exactly what this does. I've tried messing around with it and I still couldn't figure it out. But the way I normally have it set up when using AC display, it shows your notifications, it shows your time. Um, you can actually have a wallpaper in the background to use instead of a plain black text in the background which just shows basically just your time notifications I can also show you that too um, so we're gonna go ahead and go to more now there are certain things you can do here in the settings when you as under more and for an example it says only while charging app is active all the time so if you go ahead and enable this you might have a battery decrease if you decide to check this when i'm using ac dis well sorry when i was using ac display i kept it unchecked to save battery and prevent the device from overheating per se um you might be asking well how come i don't use it anymore because i've got the g5 and it already has that feature uh pre-installed into my device i have used ac display for months it's never lagged it's never crashed it never drains my battery so if you guys are worried about that just don't even worry about that at all now privacy on secure lock screen that's an option for you if you want to go ahead and check it out you can either hide notification contents or you can hide notification actions so if you go down to inactive hours you click on that you have a time frame to where you don't want ac display to be activated or and at the same time you can have a time frame on when you want ac to enable itself so that's an actual um cool little feature you guys can check out and see what you might be interested in now double tap to sleep i go ahead and leave that checked on and the reason why is because if your device is off and you want to check your time you want to see what kind of notifications you've got you can go ahead and double tap on it like the LG double tap usually has on their devices. You can have that feature built into AC display. So I normally keep that checked on. Um, on media widget, it says show a media widget while playing music. Um, I usually kept keep that enabled as well because if you're playing music in the background when your phone's off, you can double tap to get a glance of AC display and shown what's in there as far as notifications, music, and without having it open up your application, you can go ahead and switch between while you're on a lock screen. Now the corner gestures, um, basically it's all explanatory when you click on it where it says upper left hand corner, upper right hand corner, bottom left hand corner. It's just basically saying how would you like to swipe in what direction in order to unlock your device using AC display. On where it says behavior, lock on, dismiss, I'm sorry, lock on, dismiss last notification. Screen stays on after dismissing a last 
present notification. So again, that is another option if you guys want to keep that checked on or off. Pinnable notification, notification widget, stays expanded for some seconds after touch. I usually keep that checked on as well. Now if you guys, if you're using this application and you're trying to figure out how it was originally set up when you installed it, all you have to do at the bottom under more where it says data restore defaults, you can go ahead and erase all the user settings including the blacklist. So if you want to go ahead and resort back to default, all you got to do is check it and it asks you are you sure you want to proceed or whatnot. Go ahead and just hit OK. Go ahead and get back out of more. We're going to go back into interface one more time. Now I did mention to you guys that you can use wallpapers in the background instead of using a blank back, uh, I'm sorry, a black background. So if you want to use a wallpaper, um, it says right here, use a solid black background. So if you check that, that's pretty much what you're going to have. Now it says, those are used as background artwork notification icon. If you click on that, you can either check it on or check it off, okay? Now it says icon size, current size of icons is 56 DPI. So you can also change that as well. Now where it says keep battery status, if you check that on, it's gonna show your battery status on your lock screen when you double tap. Uh, to get AC display to function it will not only show your battery but it will show your notifications as well override system fonts you have that option to do that as well use I'm sorry not use under unlock circle it says unlock animation I go ahead and leave that on just to get animations pretty cool now under the unlock circle where it says unlock animation you can have to choose colors when you're using the animation itself so once you go ahead and just choose your color, hit OK. And as far as the circle background, same scenario applies. You can change whatever color you want, hit OK. Now what we're going to do is go up here where it says use wallpaper. Your home screen's wallpaper will be used for the background. So whatever current wallpaper you have on your device right now when it's unlocked, that's what's going to be shown when you're using AC display. Now if you want to go back and use a black background just uncheck that and that's what you're going to have again this application does not drain battery does not overheat your device as long as you had it checked under more where it says inactive hours you like again you have the option to choose on what time to what time you want it inactive or active so do not forget that guys now the last thing I want to show you is called Heads Up. Basically it's a separate app alone from AC Display, but you can download it also from the Google Play Store. So if you go into the Google Play Store and you look down, it's going to say Heads Up right here, 4.3 rating. I'm also going to leave a link in the description at the bottom if you want to go ahead and use this feature as well. Long story short, Heads Up is basically an application if you're on an internet, if you're on your Google Chrome, if you're on YouTube or whatnot, when you get notifications, you can use Heads Up from AC Display to get your notifications, just like an Android Nougat. So if this is something you might like, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link, like I said, on the bottom description. You can check that out. You decide to do this and you want this application, all you got to do is download it, open it up, and right here where it says off, you go ahead and enable that feature. Go ahead and give it permission through notifications. You're gonna see where it says heads up. You wanna go ahead and activate that. Go ahead and hit the back button and you also have an interface theme. You have the light theme set, so you can either hit light or dark. I'm gonna go ahead and go with dark. Show at top of the screen, overlap status bar, emoticons, override system fonts, under notifications, you've got minimum priority, maximum priority. Basically, it's the same exact thing under uh, more and AC display. You also have where it says dismiss timeout, which is right here. Hide on touch outside and show on lock screen. So you can also enable that feature. Now it says apps set preferences per application. You also have that advantage. So guys, if there's something that you might like, which I'm pretty sure you will, 
um, check this app out give it a chance let me know what you think if you did like this video hit that like button don't forget to subscribe if you guys have any questions whatsoever you can email me at atex65 at outlook.com and you guys can also follow me on twitter at technerd82 and until then guys i will see you on my next video